Hi guys, if you are used to working in MS Excel, you would have probably used a combo chart. In this video, we are going to learn how to build a combo chart in Power BI using the line and clustered column visual. Also, we will try to integrate targets in the model and visualize it in the chart. Let's head to Power BI and explore this. As you can see here, I've already built a combo chart using the line and cluster column chart, which is the built-in visual. So if you see here, this is a chart which I've used. So let me highlight this for you. So this is the one line and clustered column chart. So as you can see here in the bar, I have the total sales and the gray lines are my target units and the black lines are my actual unit that was sold. So I'll show you how to build this from scratch. So what I'll do is uh, let me add a new visual so uh, before I start to build this, let me show you that model here so that you get a fair idea like how it is being structured. So just give it a second. So as you can see here, I have the fact sales table. It's a month on month number and I have the targets based on product type. So if I click on the data here, you can see uh, that it looks something like this. We have the month order number, product type and unit price discount, etc. And here I have the product type and the target unit. So this is the one which I've used in this example. So, and again, I'll show you once again. So it's uh, the relation between product type to product type to get the targets. So now if I go back to this chart, so this is how it looks. So what I'll do is create a fresh uh, chart. So I'll insert new one. So let me move to the center. Let me expand this a bit. Okay. And now I, what I have to do is I need the axis, right? Shared axis. So what I'll do is bring the munch. So pull this here to the shared axis. And then I, I don't need the hierarchy. I just need the month. And then I need to bring in the sales, total sales. Where is it? It's here. So I'll bring this to the column values because I need this in the columns. So the total sales. And the next one is I need to see the uh, units that was sold. So the total units. So let me bring it to the line value. So I need this as a line. Okay, so I'll bring it here. So now you see we have the line. Let's fix the axis later on. So uh, before I uh, bring in the target units, right? So let, let's do some cosmetic changes here. So I'll go here and then x-axis continues. I'm not gonna change anything here. Then in the y-axis, uh, let me start this from zero and the maximum, uh, let me make this as 100. Okay, so it's a, uh, dollar, it's in dollar, so 100 units. And then, so I want to bring the uh, target unit. So what I'll do is activate the secondary axis, expand this. And now go back to the general, uh, go back to this data, add data to your visual tab here. And then to the line values, let me bring in the uh, targets. So it's here. M target units, so I have it here. So now I'll fix the axis for the secondary axis. So I again, I need this from zero. Maybe with the maximum units, can I keep 20 or 30? Let me try with 30, oops, 30. Okay, so I have the maximum units. So I can make this as 20 as well. Okay, let's keep 20 now. And then let's do some cosmetics here. Go back to the uh, format tab here. And then let me bring in the legend is already turned on. So grid lines, if it's already on. So if I don't need this, I can turn it off. So let me turn it off now. And then let's make some changes to these lines. So I need the uh, dash, I don't need the solid. So this is a target, uh, not targets, but uh, it's the actually in its sold. So let me make this as uh, dotted. So it looks decent. And then colors, I can change the colors here. So for the total units sold, let me 
keep this like a black and the target units let me keep little gray maybe like a gray color and then moving to the next visual uh, let me collapse this one markers let me turn it on so i have the markers i don't need i don't like prefer the round so i'll change this to something like this this is what i like okay and then uh, i'm okay with the size and then for the column uh, the default color is blue but you can write a function to change this color so i'm not going to change anything here and data labels uh, right now it's turned off so i can turn it on if you think it's good you can and then here there are some settings series apply to all the series maybe total units you can do some changes here total sales probably if you don't need this if, if it looks too much cluttered so busy so i can turn this off I don't need data labels and then colors as well. So I think we covered pretty much here. And then maybe title, I can change the title, something like this, sales. It's in dollar. And units. Quantity target hit enter, but you have you can also write a dynamic function here. So if you want to do a combination based on your selection, you can write a function to make this or conditional text. Then let me align to the center. So here we go. So I think this is pretty much uh, uh, straightforward and simple. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any doubts or questions, please drop me a note in the comment section. And thanks for watching.